Hello you Dong Graveyards, Jim Sterling here and this is Paradise Island. It's a paradise on an island. We're going to play it. So it just kind of started like this. Don't know what that is. Claims to be an MMO, so hopefully we will see lots of players because that's what MMO implies being massively multiplayer. What does this say? Hello Traveller, welcome to Paradise Island. All the souls you see are travellers from around the real world like you, searching for their own paths. On this island, time and space are frozen. This way your soul can concentrate on its journey. Okay. Is that a soul? Are these supposed to be people or not? I mean, that's not much of an MMO. I mean, if, if, if that's... If that's what I think it is, and these are other players just stood there, then Fable 2 is an MMO, because that did the same thing. Anyway, so here we are. Now, we've got this, you know, vast, expansive island to look at, and, yeah, that, that's definitely another player. We don't have bodies or anything. They just made blue clouds. It's not exactly... Not exactly engaging. Anyway... Uh, this is designed to be compatible with all of the VR systems that are coming out. Uh, there is a mobile version for the Gear VR. Uh, there is going to be, you know, obviously support for the Oculus and the Vive and all that stuff. And as such, there appears to be fuck all to do. In fact, I know there's fuck all to do because I... Oh, that's music. I uh, read a few of the reviews before I, you know, every now and then I'll, I'll give a cursory glance to the reviews. And I did find out that there is fuck all to do. But we will have a look around anyway, see what's what. Teach this triple truth to all. A generous heart, kind speech, and a life of service and compassion are the things which renew you. Fuck all that, that sounds dull. Not to my style, I don't think. Yesterday I was clever and wanted to change the world. Today I am wise, so I'm changing myself. What is all this? Self-help bollocks. Don't worry about what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and do that, because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Yeah, try telling that to Ted fucking Bundy, mate. The quieter, sorry, the quieter you become, the more you can hear. All right. It's all very zen and philosophical. Smiling is one of the highest forms of meditation. Okay then. Oh, there's another player, I guess. Or is that just me? Is that my blue tail? I think it is. Um, oh, whatever, anyway. Let's go and have a look over here. I mean, this is, uh, I can't even jump. I can't even jump. So I can't interact with, with this. You know, it would at least be something if on Paradise Island I could, you know, climb some things, you know, use these. Nope, can't use these. Can we slide? Nope. Because we can't jump, so we get as far as that, and then we have to leave. Well, that was fun. That was the park. Let's see what else there is. We can look at a shell. Oh, we can actually collect that. We found some interaction. Stop the effing presses. We have found some interaction. Collect these fucking shells, mate. Sell them at the shell market. Is there a shell market? We'll find out. Probably not. So what do we do once we've collected these shells? I mean, we could do that all fucking day. Can we go in the ocean? Yep. We found a fish. The first sign of actual fucking life. That's good. Can't, again, can't interact with the fish. We can just look. Alright. Well. 
that was that. Along we go. Well, uh, and th this is less than your average walking simulator because it even even they have something. Even Dear Esther had some narrative structure. I may I may have thought the narrative structure was bollocks, but at least it was there. You know. Ugh, that doesn't even look good. You are a function of what the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is a function of what the whole ocean is. Oh, piss off. Anyway, um, I'll tell you what, right? This, this entire thing here is my fear with VR, with virtual reality. I worry we've got another Wii situation on our hands where it's tech demo after tech demo for tech that has already been quite successfully demoed. We know what VR can do. Uh, having a game, well, you know, I use the term loosely, you know, I would, I would still call it a game, but, you know, this really is stretching the bounds of the definition. Having a game like this, where there's fuck all to do except pick up shelves and read bollocks, doesn't make VR look good. It makes it look... I mean, I mean... You know, you can look around 360 degrees for a few seconds and go, ooh, ah, but you can... All right, I've got to give VR. I've talked about it before. I can do that in the main fucking menu. I can do that in the gear Oculus menu. Put the, the, the fucking headset over my eyes. The menu's in front of me, but it's in a room. And I can look around 360 degrees, and that's what I did the first time I put it on. Within moments of putting the thing on, I was able to look around and go, Ooh, ah, it's 360 degrees, that's exciting. And then that wore off, and then I was like, okay, now let's play some games. And what games have I played? Well, there's an Adventure Time game. It's about 10 minutes long. It, it is itself a glorified demo. You know... A lot of them are. A lot, a lot of the shit. There's some really shitty... I can't even remember the name of it. Dead something. There's some shitty shooting game. I, I don't want to be too down on the Gear VR either because I do like it. Uh, and I am... I've, I've warmed more and more to the idea of VR as a concept. I like virtual... Oh, we're back here. Wonderful. I like virtual reality as a concept. And I've... Uh, my initial cynicism is kind of fading the more I dick around with uh, with the gear especially. But while the technology may have won me over somewhat, the software is, is, is a worry because I know what the game industry is like. I saw what happened with the, you know, the initial Wii U games. I saw what happened with a lot of the Wii games where it's just gimmickry and, and game design goes out of the window because they're too busy focusing on demonstrating the technology rather than actually making an engaging experience, which, ironically, makes the technology look like shit because people just have this ream of boring, dull, dreary, lifeless experiences with it. Like, if I'm, I, I'm playing this and, and I'm think I've got no desire... Right? Should I get an, a, a rift or a vibe or whatever? I've got no desire to put a headset on for this. And if I, if I had a, a, a headset, if I was a, a new customer and I bought, you know, a VR headset, and this is the first thing I played, where it's like, for the... Well, I mean, again, I was going to say for the first few seconds you're in awe because you can look around yourself. But again, you can do that from main menus of things. So it doesn't even have that going for it. It is literally just wandering around a fucking island doing bollocking all. And I'm, I'm, I'm worried that that's what a lot of VR games are going to be like. And I hope that's not the case. You know, I have played some promising VR games on, on the gear so far. Uh, Bizarre, I've, I've mentioned before, I liked. Um, there's a first-person horror game called uh, Dreadhall or, some, or something like that. 
in all fairness, it's it's a subpar first person horror game, but I will admit the VR gives it a little extra edge, and it does make me excited for what horror games could be. Uh, and so, so in that case, that's a tech demo that's actually successful because it does it does enough to intrigue me uh, and and show promise and make me interested more in in virtual reality, whereas this just doesn't. You know, I could download this on my phone and play it on the gear just as much as I'm playing it on the PC now. And I've got... Why Why the fuck would I? Why would... Why? Why would I? It's just... It's a fucking desert of a game. It's a, it's a nothing. It's a nothing. This is a vaguely pretty oblivion. And by Oblivion, I don't mean the, the game by Bethesda, because that had stuff to do. I mean, quite a literal Oblivion. And I say pretty, it's not even that visually impressive, really, is it? <sighs> well, I'm going to go stand here. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Can't even do that. Can't even stand there. Ah. <sighs>